I want to kind of continue with what we were talking about on Wednesday in the Instagram live. It's, I know some of you were there, some of you weren't there. We were talking a lot about rotation. And um, those of you who do Pilates all the time know that rotation is a more advanced part of the work. But I feel like ugh, my body and your bodies are probably craving this right now. Anything <laughs> to move the back. So today I want to really spend time working on some of the rotation exercises and as always you need to take care of your body, right? So if you're dealing with like SI dysfunction, low back issues, that you feel like you need to back off of any twisting, please, please, please do. For example, for me when we get into corkscrew, um, I'm going to be showing you the more modified version because I don't love the advanced version in my own body so you'll be able to follow along you know, accordingly. Um, today, we don't really need any props. After that big long email about all the props that you could purchase, um, I do have my towel with me. Magic Circle, bring it close by to you so you have it, so you can use it. If you don't have it, who cares? A TheraBand's always nice to have. Anything that you know you need to support your neck in any exercise. Today, we are gonna do rollover, um, which those of you guys who take my mat class know that I'm always like, if you have low back issues and I can't be there to help you, please protect your back when you take your legs overhead. For some of you, this might not happen today. It could just be the idea of lifting over, connecting through the core, but you know, do what you can. And if, as we get there, I'll kind of cue you through where you need space on your mat. So let's get started. You're gonna start on your back, pulling the knees in towards the chest, hugging those knees in. And as we start, I just want you to connect to your breath today and really let the back of the neck release. And just try to find the breath deeply. With rotation, it allows you to be able to take a deeper breath into your diaphragm. So that's what I want you to connect to, okay? So we have the knees pulled in towards the chest. As you exhale, nice and easy, we're just gonna take the knees over to one side, arms are gonna come out to the T. Now, as always in this first twist, be gentle to your spine. Maybe you need to pull the knees up a little bit higher to your shoulders. Maybe they need to move away a little bit. Just kind of listen. You might need a pillow under your knees. And then as you exhale, you're going to use your obliques, use your back. You're going to float the legs back up to center. And then we go up and over to the other side. Let the head turn the opposite direction, opening the chest, pressing with those arms. Good. And then as you exhale, coming back up to the center. Nice and long, good. Now really feel that core pull in, right? We're supporting this twist. Even though most of you guys are, you know, strong, feel good, just really listen to your back as you take that spiral. Excellent. Exhale, you come back up to the center. And we're gonna take the knees up and over to the other side. Let the head fall away, just breathing into the back. See if you can really connect your shoulder to the floor. And then exhale, coming back up. Now from here, we're gonna plant both feet flat on the floor. Feel the organization of all 10 toes spreading. Let's bring the hands behind the head, elbows are nice and wide. As you exhale, you're gonna curl just your head, neck, and shoulders forward. You're gonna round the body up. Feel the back of the neck is long. Use your lats and your serratus to curl up a little bit more. And then you're going to inhale to lower back down. And enjoy it, it should feel so nice, right? To have that curve. And again, exhale. Curling forward, rounding on up, pull the abs in. Now, as you look towards your belly button, feel like you could even lengthen the neck a little bit deeper. Good. And lowering back down. Nice, you guys. One more time. Exhale, curl it up. Now, as you look towards your pelvis, drop your tailbone down so you're not tucking under into your hips. Hold here. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to rotate just the upper body to one side, and I want you to feel like you could lift off that down shoulder. Good. And then back to center, and to the other side. Exhale, twist up and around to the other side and pull those abs in, and then back to the center. Take a breath. If you need to lower down, you lower down. Exhale, rotate. Feel how you can really start to connect your obliques as you're twisting. Inhale, very good, back to the center, excellent. Exhale, one more time, to the left. Twist it around, rotate, and then exhale, back to the center, good, lower the head down. Nice, you guys, now hug the knees in towards you. We're gonna set up for the 100. Yay, everyone's favorite exercise. So, if you know you need to modify, legs can be a table, they can be 45, and those of you who practice all the time, legs are down on the floor. So, we inhale the arms up to the ceiling. 
As you exhale, you're gonna curl the body forward, float those legs up, and we pump. Inhale, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, and exhale. Good, now as you keep going, you wanna make sure that your middle back is on the mat. Good, bend your knees if you need to, right? Support your back. Again, inhale, big breath in. And exhale, good. Can you curl up Amy a little bit higher? Yes, thank you. Good, and just make sure as you pump, you're not slapping water. You're really moving your back. Good, cat, curl up a little bit higher for me. There you go, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, good. Nice, everyone. Again, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, beautiful. And we go again, inhale, one more. And exhale, all the air out. Good, and gracefully lowering back down, nice. Legs extend straight out on the mat. We're going right into the roll-up. So I suggest to you something to hold on to. Towel, TheraBand, Magic Circle, grab it. So from here, if you're using a towel, you go ahead and grab the ends of the towel. Yeah? All right, so your arms are gonna reach overhead. You're gonna flex the feet. Listen to your back. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, the arms lift to the ceiling. Exhale, we begin to curl the body forward, rounding up. Articulating the spine as you stretch up and over those legs. Good, back of the neck is long. If you need to use your hands on the sides of your legs, you can, right? Good, now from here, start to roll the spine down. We're massaging the back, breathing through. Good, pulling apart with whatever you're holding on to, and the arms extend overhead. Again, inhale, the arms lift. Now as you look towards your stomach, feel one vertebrae, then the next, then the next, deep and through. Good, flex those feet. Stretch that head, neck, and shoulders towards the top of your knees. And again, inhale. We want to start to open up that back. Pull those abs in as you start to roll down. Good. And my mat is squeaking so much. And again, extending all the way back. And inhale. Lift the arms. Exhale. Rounding forward. Now, can you bend the knees to help facilitate that back mobility? That's fine. And good, Melanie. And stretching all the way over the legs. Let the back of the neck release. Again, two more. Inhale, rolling back. Pull whatever you're holding on to. Pull it out or press it in if you're using the magic circle. And extend the arms back. Ribs in right here. Inhale, lift. And exhale, curl it up. Pull those abs in and stretch up and over as you go. Release the neck. Inhale. From here, everyone, we're going to roll down one more vertebrae at a time. We're going to stop on our backs. All the way down. Arms are going to lift and stretch, good. Set whatever you're holding onto down by your side. Now, before we go into rollover today, let's do a little modification with the single leg circle to warm up the back. So, this is talking about rotation, moving from the lower half of the body, right? We already rotated a little bit with the upper, now we rotate from the lower with control. So lying all the way back down, hug your knee into your chest, whichever leg you wanna use. From here, the bottom leg, the down leg, is stretching and flexing, so feel the front of that hip open. Now, you extend that bent knee up to the ceiling, hold there for a second, interlace your fingers behind your leg. I want you to feel like you're grounding your femur down into your hip. Holding there, you're going to point through the foot and flex. And point three times. And flex. Very good. And point. Long, beautiful necks. And flex. Circle the ankle three times. One. And two. And three, spread those toes. Reverse, one, and two, and three. Good, now from here, you're going to open the arms out to the T. The top leg, bend it if you need to, right? Most of us are not dancers with that flexibility. You're gonna take the leg across towards the opposite shoulder, allowing the hip to lift a little bit. Exhale, you come back up to the center, but we're not going it all the way to the floor. Inhale, take it towards that shoulder, Spiral, pull your abs in, exhale, back up. Those shoulders are down on the mat, so don't let them lift. Again, inhale, across. Last one, exhale, and lift. Pull the abs up, bend the knee in, give it a stretch, and we just gently switch to the other side. Opposite knee pulls in, good. Now, once again, the down leg, open it. Feel the front of the thigh stretch. Hug it in, feel that stretch. Extend the leg up to the ceiling. All right, hold on behind the leg, point through the foot. Exhale, flex. Already start to think about your pelvis staying nice and flat into the mat. And flex. Good. Long necks. Point. And flex. Good. Circle the ankle three times. One. And two. Long necks. And three. Reverse. One. Good. And two. 
and three. Now from here, arms are out to the sides. You're gonna soften the knee a little bit so you're not grabbing. Good, you're gonna take the leg to the opposite shoulder. But feel how you can hold that leg with your core. Exhale back up. So don't let it drop so heavy that you're giving into the floor. Again, inhale. Lift the hip to go over versus dropping. And exhale back to center. We go one more time. Inhale, up and across. And exhale, back to the center. Good, hug the knee in. All right, switch the leg. One more time, we're gonna go into single leg circles. So extend that opposite leg up. Arms this time come by your side, so hug them down. Now, the circle is a half circle. Soften the top knee. Inhale, the leg goes across the body again. It circles down, exhale, and lift. And again, across. Exhale and lift. Make it smaller if you're newer to this work. Exhale, lift. Control. I'm looking for that left leg or down leg not to move. One more. And lift. Reverse the circle. Down, exhale, up and around. And again, down, exhale, up and around. What's happening with your core? Scoop it in. Exhale. And again, you're getting a little rotation, right, in your back. And one more. Exhale. Bend the knee in. We change to the other side. Extend the leg up, arms by your sides. Now the down leg. This is the leg that I want you to control. Don't let it move. Top leg, here we go. Circles across, exhale up. Great, you guys. And again, across. Good, I like those circles that are nice and tight. And again, across, exhale, lift. And again, across. Now, as you start to feel stronger, take it a little bit bigger. And up, one more. And across. And up, now we'll reverse the circle. The leg goes down, exhale, far across and up. And again, open those back muscles and press them into the mat. Down, exhale with the core back to center. And two more, exhale back up. Last one, and exhale, hug the knee in towards you. Give it a stretch. You're gonna use this leg gracefully to roll up to sit. Good, now I wasn't thinking we were gonna do rolling like a ball, but let's do it, I feel like we need it. So, you're gonna scoot your tush forward a little bit, grab onto your ankles, lift the feet. Good, now if this is like not gonna happen in your hips, Hold on to the back of your legs, right? Listen to your body. Now, as you're here and your belly's pulling in, this might be it for you. Otherwise, you look towards your stomach, you're gonna massage your back out as you roll. So inhale, you roll to your shoulder blades. Exhale, up. Good, now here's your moment when you get to laugh a little bit at yourself, so don't feel like this is the most serious thing you've ever done, right? So inhale, you're gonna roll back, lift your hips. Exhale, massage the spine up. Now, when you come up, those feet, you guys, don't get to touch. You have to use your core. And again, two more like this. Inhale, back. Exhale, up. Good, yes. And again, inhale, breathe. Exhale, up. Good, rest your feet for a second. You totally know we're not done, those of you who know me. Okay, so the what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a variation because I feel like you can get into your low abs a little bit more. So. You can always modify accordingly, but you all look pretty kick-ass, so let's try to the next variation. So your elbows are gonna go onto the top of your knees. Good, now, as you're here, your feet are still on the floor, right? I want you to use your low abs, and you're gonna pick up your feet, and you're gonna keep your elbows and your knees connected. Now, before you even roll, isometrically, that's okay, PF, keep going, roll up there. You're gonna push the knees and the elbows together for three, push up and down at the same time, two, Good, one, release the squeeze, lift up a little taller in your back, we got another one. And we press in for three, deepen through the core. Two, one, good, release, one more. Press for three, feel how those low abs have to work. Two, one, release your feet for just a second, lift up out of those hips. Now, we're gonna do rolling like a ball, five of them with the elbows connected to the knees. Here we go, good luck. Lift your feet up, use your core. Eyes look to your stomach. For my new Pilates people, don't look up. Here we go, inhale, roll back, exhale, up, bounce. Good, and again, inhale, back, exhale, up, bounce. Yes, three more, here we go. Inhale, roll, exhale, lift, keep going. And again, inhale, roll, exhale, lift. Yes, and relax, you guys, that was awesome. Good, okay, great, I'll take it. Lower right down onto your back, we're gonna do the stomach series, then roll over today. So, not the correct order, but that's okay. You're gonna lie all the way down. Pull your knees in towards you. So, rules are, for my newbies, if your neck starts to hurt, you rest your head. Don't force it so you feel so much tension. Breathe, modify, 
Join back in when you feel like you've got it, okay? So just don't force it today. Same with the low back. Modify, slow down, whatever you need to do. Pull your knees in towards you. Hug them in. All right, curl that head, neck, and shoulders up. Right hand goes to the right ankle, left hand onto that knee. If all you do today is just grab your knee, that's fine. All right, so we double pulse that knee in. One, two, change. One, two. Now, in order to have good rotation in our backs, we need a nice supple pelvis, right? We need those hips to be moving. We need to juice up that spine. So as you're here, you're changing. Make sure the tailbone is dropped. Make sure that belly is pulling in and your pelvis is not rocking and rolling from side to side. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Good. Rest your head if you need to. Pulse, pulse. Last time. Pulse, pulse. Good. Knees in. Head goes back for a breath. From here, that was your breath. Exhale. Curl up. If you have enough room in your space, today we are going to circle the arms, so please be careful of your surroundings. Inhale, arms go to the ceiling, legs extend out, deepen through that core, hold. Exhale, you circle the arms, draw the knees back in, good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hollow that core to come back in, good. Keep going for me, inhale, extend, yes. Exhale, and the round, good. Ani, curl up higher when you extend those arms. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, good, Jen, and back in. Good, and again, one more. Inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, good, Carolyn, and head goes back. Good, nice, you guys, release. Awesome, from here, legs extend. Turn out slightly in your V, your potty stance. Curl up, grab with both hands behind one ankle. The opposite leg, when it lowers, doesn't hang. I hate that. I want you to reach it with energy. Double pulse the top leg, one, two, scissor change, one, Two, good. Now as we get into this exercise and you're feeling the stretch, enjoy it, but don't let the pelvis go wonky from side to side. Control. And again, control. Again, and pulse, pulse. And pulse, pulse. And pulse, pulse. Good, your head can go down if you need to. And again, you do it here. And change, one more. Pulse, pulse, good, last time. One, two, good, knees in, head back. Great, you guys. Okay, double leg, lower leg. Let's do the real classical version today. So, the hands go behind the head, elbows wide, legs extend to the ceiling, heels together. Remember, if you're tight hamstrings, some of you I know you really do, so bend your knees as much as you need to, okay, for your back. Exhale, curl up. Now, you're looking at your belly button. Inhale, the legs move forward for three, two, one. You lift up, one count up. Good, so it's three counts, inhale down. Inhale, 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 exhale back to center. Again, three, two, one, exhale, good, curl up a little bit higher. Again, three, and don't go so low with your legs. Two, one, exhale, pelvic floor up, good, sit. And again, three, two, one, exhale, back up to center, good, one more. Three, two, one, exhale up. Bend the knees, head goes back, good. Nice, you guys. From here, curl up, we go into crisscross. Hands still behind the head. Here's where it starts to get more fun. Twist to the right, hold for three, two, one. Curl up higher, twist to the other side, hold for three, two, one, and again, and three, two, keep breathing, one, and again, twist, three, two, one more set, here we go, and three, good, two, one, good Mahama, and again, twist for three, two, one, and relax, head goes back. Good, you guys, turn your head gently from side to side. So, the good news is we're going to add one more variation because we talked about rotation, we got to do another one. So, this, we're going to keep the scissor with the rotation. If you feel like this is too much, do the crisscross again, okay? But most of you guys look pretty awesome with that. So, lying all the way down, legs up to the ceiling. From here, you're going to curl it up again. You're going to twist towards the up leg. You're in a scissor. Hold, breathe, switch slowly to the other side. Once again, I'm looking for control. Good. And switch. Right. We're going to move a little quicker. And left. And again. Right. Yes. And left. Can you curl up a little bit higher? Right. Good. Last one. Left. And relax. Woo. Good. Take those legs straight out onto the mat. From here, we're gonna reach the arms overhead, flex the feet. In this moment, you're gonna lift the arms. We're gonna peel the spine up. So you use your abs, curl it up slowly, 
slowly, slowly, good, all the way forward. Relax the head towards the toes, you can grab a hold of the feet for a second, let the back of the neck go, and breathe. I know I keep threatening rollover, but I feel like we should all be doing another seated exercise before we do that. So, legs are gonna open, we're skipping spine stretch, we're skipping lots of stuff, we're going right into soft. So, your pelvis is right in the middle, and here's the moment where if you know you have tight legs, sit up on something, a pillow, yoga block, books, whatever you have. Arms open out to the sides. Good. Make sure you have enough room. If you don't have enough room, your hands can come here onto your shoulders. So, we inhale to spiral to one side. Now, as you spiral, lift a little bit taller first, and come back to the center. Go to the other side for me first. Twist to the opposite side. Good. Lift up through that back and back to the center. Now you guys, I'm getting a lot of this with the head, so I want you to pull the back of your neck like you're double chinning slightly as you turn. So you inhale to rotate, pull that back of that neck up. Now the front arm saws off the edge of that pinky toe, the back arm stretches as you stretch, exhale. Good, exhale, exhale. Inhale, you stack up tall. Good, keep those arms lifted, turn to the other side. And again, forward, exhale, Exhale, exhale. Inhale, up and around, keep the breath moving. And again, exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, lifting up. Excellent, keep those sits bones down. And again, exhale, stretch. Feel how yummy that feels in the back. And down, good, we're gonna go a little quicker. So here we go, inhale up, twist to one side, exhale and stretch, good. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, up and around and stretch. Nice, you guys. Inhale, lift. Good. Exhale, let your heads go. Let your heads go. And stretch. Nice. Again, inhale, lift. Excellent. And exhale, stretch. We've got one more to go. Cindy, release your neck as much as you can in that forward bend. Good. And then coming all the way back up. That was great, you guys. And back to center. Okay, now we're going to do rollover. So, I feel like we all need this, but let's be real graceful with our low backs, okay? So now, Let's all start on our backs. If you, if you know this exercise, my advanced people in this Zoom, please feel free to make this more advanced. So, your arms are gonna be alongside your body, your legs lift up. Real quickly, make sure you have enough room to take your feet overhead. So make sure there's nothing behind you you're gonna kick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, don't kick anything. All right, so from here, your legs extend up to the ceiling. You've got your V again. Now, your arms are more essential than anything to help as, as well as your pelvic floor. So, as you inhale, take a nice big breath. As you exhale, you peel your spine up. You take your legs overhead. Now, once you're there, you're gonna flex the feet, open the legs, and slowly roll down. One vertebrae at a time, pulling your core in. As you massage your spine, you stretch your spine away from your shoulders. And then circle the legs to 45 degrees or lower, for those of you who can, heels together. Inhale, reach your arms longer, lift up and over. It might just be an idea right now, right? That's okay. Flex the feet, open the legs, feel the suspension of your back from your abs. Lower down one vertebrae, then the next, then the next. Slowly articulate that spine all the way down. Continue the legs circle together, point the toes, pull those abs in, reach your arms longer. And again, up and over, use your core. Take those legs back, flex the feet. Open the legs. Now, can you lift your middle back a little bit more? Straighten your knees a little bit more. And slowly down. One. Vertebrae. At a time. Feel your core. Good. Continue. We reverse for three. So, the legs open. Shoulder width. You go up and over with your abs. Legs go back. Squeeze the legs together. Flex the feet. Lift your legs maybe a little bit more to lift your core. And then slowly down. One vertebrae. Then the next. Control, 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 control. I know, we've got two more to go. Here we go, point the toes, yes. It's okay to laugh, I promise it gets easier. And up and over, use your core, press with those arms, legs together, flex the feet, slowly begin to lower down, one vertebrae, then the next, then the next, smiling is allowed, yeah? Okay, point the toes, one more. Open the legs, exhale, up and over. Use that breath, legs come together, lift those hips a little bit more, flex the feet, and slowly melt the spine down, one vertebrae at a time all the way through, and relax. Good. Okay, so don't get frustrated with that. Normally, if you were learning that, 
In a private session, we'd have straps, we'd have bars, so very good for trying that, right? It's very challenging, good. Okay, so from here, let's go into our TikTok. So this time, we're gonna take the legs up to the ceiling again. Arms are gonna open out for a little bit more support. So this becomes more athletic for your core. So bend your knees if you need to for your back, or your heels are squeezing together in your V. Now, once you have the squeeze, they do not separate. I don't wanna see your heels kind of glide past each other. So inhale, you're gonna take the legs up and over. As far as you can keep your shoulder, opposite shoulder down, rotation of the lower part of the body. Exhale, back to the center. And I'm not going very far and I still feel my core, right? So inhale, other side, up and over, breathe. Stretch that back, pull those abs in, exhale, back up. If you can go further, go for it, just keep the control. And again, inhale, up and over, so your heels don't slip. You're holding a penny between your heels, keep it, very good. Exhale, back up, can you keep the legs at 90 degrees to your body? Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, up and over, so your knees can bend, that's okay. Stretch, use your abs, exhale, back up. One more set, here we go. Inhale, up and over, press those arms in. Feel your spine twist from your middle back. Exhale, back up, so it's a thoracic twist, not a sacral lumbar twist. Again, up and over. Stretch that body, exhale, back up. And bend the knees in, hug your knees in. Good, rock yourself up. Nice, you guys. Now the best part is we get to go into swan, which uh, feels amazing. So come onto your stomachs for me. Lengthen those legs out and away. Good. Finally, we made it to extension. All right, so forehead comes down onto the mat. For those of you who are dealing with low back issues, you can have a little separation in your legs. Otherwise, those of you who I see all the time, heels are together. Now, forehead is down so that you can breathe through your nose and mouth. Your elbows are gonna hug in to your body, and let's today play with where the palms of the hands are. Maybe they go a little bit wider, maybe they move a little bit forward, depending on what you need, right? So from here, lift up through your belly button already. Inhale, you're going to lengthen the spine forward. Begin to press with the arms, but lift the ribs. So your rib cage is really lifting with you as you extend, and your neck is in alignment, right? So we're not dumping into the low back. Elizabeth, hug your elbows in a little bit more. And again, exhale, lengthening forward and down, all the way down, and breathe. Good. And we go again, inhale, lengthening up. Press through those arms, feel. It doesn't matter how high it goes, you guys. This is about where you need to go for you. Hug those elbows in, lift your core, support your back. Exhale, it can be two inches, it can be a foot, whatever you need for your body, and down. Now those legs, engage those legs. Inhale, lengthening up. It means that they're reaching away from you as you come up. Good, doesn't matter how high it goes, just to the point where it's feeling good. Good, Christina. Good, Amy. And then exhale, lengthening. Nice, you guys. And down. Great. Push back in one swift motion to take your child's pose and stretch. Let your head release and breathe. In your child's pose, send that breath in your middle back. So inhale, inflate your lungs. And exhale, pull that air out. And then from here for me, you're gonna come on up onto all fours. So we're gonna find that all fours shape, and I want you to feel really strong here. Remember, if you need to protect your wrists, you can always come onto your fists, or you can double your mat up and give your wrist a little elevation. So now, you're scooping up through the core. We're gonna add a little rotation here. Not classical Pilates, but a great stretch, great work. So your neck is long. Inhale, you're gonna lift one arm to the ceiling, stretching in that rotation, pushing the floor away, breathing surprisingly hard, and then exhale, you're gonna come down, you're gonna lightly touch your hand on the floor. And we go again, inhale, lifting up. Now notice how much that down arm has to work. That's what I want you to feel. Can you push the floor away? Good, Emily. And lowering back down with that arm. Try not to sink. Good, Elisa, keep your head a little bit higher for me. And again, last one, inhale, press. Push. Now the pelvis doesn't move at all. Feel the rotation move for your ribs. Good, and hand comes down. Good, this sets us up for later when we go into our side bend, okay? So other arm, inhale, lift. Push the floor away, breathe. Open the back, exhale, and down. 
If any of you are golfers, this is a great exercise to do before you start playing, right? To open up and strengthen and turn on those muscles. Inhale, lift, 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 stretch that top arm up. Exhale, and down. And we go again, here we go. Inhale, lifting up, 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 press the floor away, more. And exhale, and down. Awesome, you guys, sit back. This time, your hands can reach towards your feet to relax your shoulders, relax your head. Breathe into that stretch. If this doesn't work for your knees, I know who you are, most of you. Joyce, just see how this feels. Good, now from here, you guys, you're gonna come on up to sit. We're gonna swing those legs around and set up for spine twist. So if you sat up on something before, here's your moment, right? We're gonna sit up on it again. So your legs are gonna extend straight forward. I always like a little bend in the knees for most of us. So you're gonna sit, you don't have to. If you have the flexibility, go ahead and take them straight. So as you're here, your heels and your feet are flexed. You feel those heels squeezing together towards that inner thigh line, arms are out to the sides. Now, if you don't have room again, you can do this with your fingertips on your shoulders. Now, most of you guys right now, I wanna see your arms come forward a little bit so that you're not hyperextending the shoulder joint. Yeah, there we go. Now inhale nice and tall. As you exhale, you twist to one side, you get taller, you exhale, exhale a little bit further. Inhale, back to the middle, get taller through your neck. And the other side, exhale, exhale, inhale. Feel how delicious this feels in your core. Exhale, twist that waist up, twist. Inhale, yes, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that. <laughs> exhale, twist, and twist, and again, inhale. And again, exhale, can you get a little taller? Like your top of your head goes through your roof and back to the center. And we go again, one more time. Exhale, twist and twist. Back to the center from here. You're gonna gracefully roll all the way down onto your back. And you're, you might have to scoot forward like I do. And we're gonna set up for bridge. Good, now we get to open the front of those hips again. So your feet have about two to three inches of space between them. You're gonna reach your tailbone towards your heels to create that length, your arms are pressing. From this moment, you're gonna slowly begin to curve under with the pelvis. Use your glutes, use your legs to lift those hips up into your bridge, right? So your arms are pressing, your knees and thighs are reaching forward away from you. Good, so your necks are nice and long, take a breath. And then as you exhale, slowly begin to melt down and feel each vertebrae as best you can. I know we all have sections that feel like a brick. So roll through it as much as you can and the tailbone drops. Good, make sure you guys with your knees, um, Carolyn, move your feet forward a little bit further. Yeah, there you go. And that you're not too close and that you're not too wide. So just hip width, there we go. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up again. Under, feel your heels connect. You're gonna feel your butt muscles have to work even more. Good, even knees a little bit closer together for me. There you go, inhale, and then as you exhale, lengthen the neck to roll all the way down. Maybe you soften the sternum a little bit as you go, and all the way through. Good, and let's go again. This time we're gonna add the kicks. So slowly bridging on up again. Feel that connection, feel your butt turn on. I want you to access it here. Now, your right leg is gonna come forward and up. We kick up one, flex the foot down. Inhale up, two and down, up, three, long necks, down, four, and down. If this is too much, one more, you just hold the leg up, good, slide that foot in, ground your pelvis up to the ceiling, lengthen it, and roll down in between. So if you feel like the kicks are too much, just lift the leg to the ceiling. We roll up again, inhale, under with the pelvis, bridging on up, nice you guys, here we go, left leg extends forward, we kick up one, Flex down, two, and down, three. What's happening with those hips? Don't drop that left hip, and down. Two more, up, and lower. One more, up, and lower. Slide that foot in, engage underneath, and soften the chest as you roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Good, you guys, you're gonna roll on up for me. We're gonna set up for side kicks. So aligning your body against the back of your mat, bring the bottom hand behind the head, Oh, and I have this great, I wanna show you this. One of our colleagues had this great cue. So what I want you to think of with your hand is that the thumb is pointing down and the hand is at the base of your skull. 
because I know a lot of us tend to do the like, I'm reading at the beach with my magazine, so let's not have the wrist like that. So, I thought that was a great cue. Think of your thumb on your neck. From here, feet come forward to 45 degrees. Top hand comes across from your waist or behind, my, behind your head if you want more advanced and a more advanced challenge. So from here, you'll lift the top leg up parallel from the floor. Here we go, we kick to the front for front back. We kick, one, two, point the toe, extend behind. And again, over your animals, orcs, sofas, or children, yes. Good, Jen, try not to move that top hip. Kick, kick, exhale, stretch. And again, Lynn, modify if you need to with your hip, okay? And stretch. And again, to the front. Kick, kick, exhale, good. Stretch. Now the arm that's down, you guys, really use it. And again, kick, kick. Because you want to feel that it's helping you lift your waistband up on the down hip. Kick, kick, and stretch that leg open to get that opening. Again, to the front. Kick, kick, exhale, stretch. Pull those abs up. One more. Here we go. Kick, kick. Exhale, stretch. Good, now from here, top leg is gonna come above the bottom leg. You can turn the leg out. Let's go ahead and point the toe today and stretch the top of the foot. We circle one, two, keep going, three, control, four. Let's slow it down a little bit. Five, I want more control. Six, seven, eight, belly's in. Nine, one more, 10, reverse, one, and two. How little, good Claudia, how little movement with your ribs can you give me? And five, six, good. Oh, my counting. We're almost there. Two more. Nine and ten. Good. Heels touch. Here we go. Kicking to the ceiling. Up. Flex the foot to lower. And again. Inhale, lift. And down. Now watch that top hip. Don't let it fall back. Keep it stacked and down. Remember, you have to turn out the top leg in order for it to glide into the hip. Up and down. One more time. Up. And down, good you guys. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and bend the knees. 45 degree angle, just a modified clam today. From this position, once again, have you sunk into your shoulders, press up out of them, and I want you to feel like you could lift your waistband on the down side, so there should be a little bit of space between your core and the mat. Top knee opens, we extend, toes touch, and close. Again, lift, extend, good. Touch, and in. Again, work those rotator muscles. Feel the inner thigh also as you do this. And close. And again, rotate, pull up through the abs. Extend, and touch, good Noel. And down, and again, lift, and extend. Good, touch, and down one more time. Inhale, lift, can you lift up more out of your shoulders? Good, Brandy. And touch, good. And down, nice you guys. Give it a little massage, good. From here, we're gonna go ahead and swing the legs around to the other side. Nice and short and sweet today, right? So, align your body with the back of the mat. Once again, you know I'm so nitpicky, so please do it for me. So your thumbs on your neck, your palm of the hand is behind your head. Both feet come forward off the front of the mat or just at that 45 degree angle. All right, so from here, top hand is down. Once again, your neck, is not jacked, right? So you're lifting up to create a good lift. Good, top hands across from the waist, we lift the top leg up. Kicking forward, kick, kick, point the toe. Now can you stretch that hip flexor back and lift your abs? And again, use this as your favorite exercise of the whole day, right? We're sitting too much, we're not walking enough. Use this to open that body, kick, kick. Exhale, stretch. And again, but at the same time, don't lose your rib cage and your core, right? As important as how big the leg is. Stretch, and again, three, kick, kick. Nice, you guys, stretch. And I would also suggest engaging your butt muscle when you go back. So make sure it's firing. And again, two more, kick, kick. Good, exhale, stretch. And again, kick, kick, exhale, stretch. Now the top leg's gonna come above the bottom leg. You're gonna point through that foot and we circle one, and two, and three, and four, good, five, and six, belly's in, seven, and eight, two more, nine, and 10, reverse for me, one, and two, control that body, three, and four, good Karen, five, six, good guys, seven, eight, nice, nine, 
and 10. Great, everyone. Okay, from here, we have the turn out again. You're going to inhale to kick that leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, you kick up, flex the foot to lower. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, and again, lift. Woo. And down, and again, lift. So what's happening with that top hip? Don't let it fall back. Inhale, lift. It's gonna work your glutes harder and be better for you overall. Find a neutral pelvis. No one's tucking, right? And again, inhale, lift. And down, good. Again, lift. Last one. And down, bend the knees, heels together. Once again, lift up on the waistband. Here we go, inhale, lift. Extend, point and reach. Touch and close, and again. Feel those muscles, extend the knee as much as you can, touch, doesn't matter how high it is, and down, and again, pull up with the core, extend, can you almost lift your head off your hand, right, so you're not heavy, and again, three more, extend, good, and touch, nice cookie, and down, and again, turn out, extend, yeah, good, in, make it have resistance. And again, I haven't asked you guys to use the bands yet, but imagine you have the circle TheraBand around your thighs. Good, and relax. Give it a little massage here. Okay, so now we're going into my favorite. We're jumping, we're skipping, we're skipping a lot. So from here, what we're gonna do is side bend with twist. So you're gonna come on up for me. This is the thing. Some of you are gonna need to modify depending on wrists and shoulders and necks. So there's a lot of ways to do this. The top hand, if you're nice and strong, everything feels like it's working today, is going to be in the middle of the mat, and we're going to be extending the legs straight. So, using your obliques, your lat, your serratus, your inner thighs, your glute, well, everything, everything's working. Inhale, you're going to come up to a side plank. Now, here's the variation. Your knee is down, and the top leg is straight. If that's what you need to do today, do it, okay? From here, we're gonna to inhale to thread the needle. So you're gonna curve the thoracic spine under, your eyes up towards your down hands. As you exhale, you're gonna open the chest to the ceiling and press the floor away. And again, here we go, under. Three times, curve it under. And again, exhale, strong legs, whether you're on your knee or on your legs, you're straight, either. Again, push the floor away a little bit more, try not to bite your hips. And exhale, all the way up, Open the chest a little bit more. Good, gracefully you bend your knees. You sit down. Good, you guys. Now the other modification, because we're gonna do this a couple times, we're gonna switch sides, but you can always do this on your forearm as well if you feel like that's too much. It's a little bit different, but it still will help if you have wrist issues, okay? So swing to the other side. Now, this is always the moment when you're like, I hope this side is the better side. Or you're shocked when you're like, crap, it's not, so here we go. Now, you'll notice my feet a little bit better from this angle. My top foot is in front of my bottom foot and I'm flexing and creating a pedestal. So I want you to feel like you're pressing away. The trick to these side planks, regardless of which Pilates, yoga, bar class you're in, is how much power your legs have. So create more power through the lower limbs. Inhale, we lift up. Same thing, whoop, lifting up. Now from here, feel your core knit together. Bottom ribs lift, arm lifts. From here, we thread under. Thread under, look towards the bottom hand, rotate your thoracic spine, and exhale. You lift the chest to the ceiling. Again, under. Now, can you push the floor away a little bit more? Try not to sink into your shoulders. And exhale, and lift. Good, modification is here, I love it. And rotate under, listen to your body. And exhale, and stretch. Lift the chest, lift the chest, lift the chest. Back to straight and lowering down. Good, you guys. We're gonna go again. Now, I want you to feel, we didn't do side bend first, but I want the hips to stay stable and you're rotating your ribs around. So really focus on that rotation as we go. So we get more range of motion in our upper spines. Here we go, second set, final set with this. So top legs in front. Yep, modifying down is fine. If you're here, this is fine. Elbows under your arms, so here we go. Inhale, lifting up. So here's your next modification is here if you need it. From here, you're gonna thread under. And stretch. And exhale. Lift. Press the floor away even more. Good. And again, by the way, on the forearm is not easier. And stretch. And exhale. Lift, lift, lift. And again, push away from the floor. Can you lift that right oblique up more? 
and exhale. Up, 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 and gracefully coming down. Good. And breathe. Now remember, the transition is important, so don't hit your mat like a ton of bricks and then switch to the other side. Yeah? Graceful, graceful. Here we go. Other side. Whichever modification you need, up or on your forearm or with a knee bend. Here we go. Inhale, lifting on up. Make sure your elbow or wrist is directly underneath your shoulder. Strong legs. Lift up through that oblique. Inhale, threading under. Corkscrewing the spine, right? Exhale. It's like you're a shish kebab skewer and you're rotating along it. And again, inhale, under. Can you lift your obliques up even more? And exhale and stretch. Stretch the chest, stretch the chest. And again, one more. Under. Pull up through the core, up through the core, up through the core. And exhale, lift, lift, lift. Good. And gracefully down. Nice, you guys. Okay, so I have two minutes and I have so many more exercises. But here's what we're going to do. Let's do a quick little teaser. And we'll be done with it. Three of them. I know, I know. We thought we were going to get away with it, but we're not. Okay, so let's start seated. From here, now remember, modifications if you need to, you've never done this exercise, feet can stay on the mat, you don't have to lift them, you can use your hands. So you're gonna go ahead and start tall, you're gonna roll back. Now, <laughs> good luck, I'm, th I'm saying thinking that myself. You're gonna use your core, you're gonna float both legs up to your teaser position, hold it. I know, that was rough for me too. Now from here, you're gonna lower down, you're gonna keep your legs where they are. Lower back, your arms are gonna reach overhead and stretch. Inhale, your arms lift. Exhale, you curl your body up. You can use your finger on your legs if you need to, right? Walk up if you need to with those hands. Release at the top if you can. Arms lift to the ceiling. Beautiful. And roll down. Two more. Roll it through. Control. Good, Dini. Good. Arms overhead. Inhale, you curl. Exhale, use that powerhouse. Woo! Curl it up. Yes. We got one more to go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll. Feel like someone's dripping you down to the floor this time. Your legs are going to lower all the way with you and stretch. Quickly, gracefully flow right onto your stomach for swimming. All right, so your arms are reaching long. Your legs are reaching long behind you. Inhale, you're going to float up. Pull your abs up. We start to kick and paddle. Inhale, two, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. And inhale. And exhale. Keep going. Long necks. Again, inhale, big breath in. And exhale, <sighs> get it all out. And again, inhale, big breath in. And exhale, straighten those arms even. And again, inhale, big breath in, lost breath. And exhale, all the air, all the air. And relax, lower down, good. Push back to child's pose. Take a little stretch, that was awesome. Pull your abs in as you transition, right? You wanna protect those low backs. Now from here, you're just gonna gracefully flip your toes under. Push your heels towards the floor, good. Stretch those heels down as much as they can connect. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I mean, mine don't touch. I keep trying. Keep trying. Yes. Now from here, you're going to push your heels. Take your forward bend. Let your head release. Now, we're still thinking of our core here and our hamstrings. So as you roll up, use your abs as you slowly begin to lift the spine up one vertebrae at a time. As you come up, you're going to stack the spine up. And we're going to come all the way to vertical, and we're going to come into a standing saw. So, from here, I'm going to step back off my mat just so you can see. Your feet are going to be wide, but you're not super, super turned out. Okay? So, you're not in a super dancey position. You've just got about 10 to 20 degrees of rotation. So, what I'm looking for here is this nice, stable pelvis. Arms are out to the sides. We would do this normally on side splits on the reformer. Okay? So, you're lifting up nice and tall. Good. You're going to rotate the ribs again. Notice the theme. As you exhale, you saw down towards that foot. Let your head release and look up towards your top hand. Inhale, you're going to stack the spine up one vertebrae at a time and then back to the center. Good. You go to the other side. Twist. Get taller. Exhale, you're going to curl forward one vertebrae, then the next, then the next. Stretch. Strong arms. Lift up, 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 and back to the center. Good. Now, the lower limbs. I want you to feel that they're rooting into the floor. So don't let the hips do any sort of dance, right? They're stable. Here we go. Rotate the rib cage. Pull up through your powerhouse. Exhale. Curl. Now, as you round forward, you're going to keep going. I want you to look up towards that back hand. 
Lift up higher as you go all the way down to the mat. Good. From there, slowly begin to roll up. Feel those legs. Connect them into the floor. Good. All the way back up and around. We go one more time. Other side. Twist. Belly's up. Good. Exhale. Curl. Head. Neck. Shoulder. Stretch. Look up towards that top hand if you can. Inhale. Lift up to the core. Feel those legs. Don't let that opposite hip move. Rolling up. And back to the center. Good. Let's bring the feet together into your Pilates V. So just a little bit, like one inch of space between your toes. Most of you, I can see your feet. So there we go. That look good. Yep. Okay. So from here, we're going to take a little balance challenge. You're going to bend your knees over your second toes. Now feel your heels. Don't let the heels lift. Keep them down. Now feel your glutes as you push the floor away. And then from here, we're going to lift up and the heels are together. Yes. I know, it's crazy. And then you're gonna gracefully lower back down. Good. Okay, so from this position, try not to shift the body weight back or front. Imagine your straight, beautiful, long line as you do this. So you bend knees over the toes. Good. Straighten the legs. Now, feel like your pelvic floor helps to lift you up because it does. It's like a beautiful, Balloon that lifts you up. Good. Now your arms are just relaxed. Your ribs are in the front. Hold there for me. That looks so good. That looks so good. Hold that. Head turns to the right. Lift up to the core. Back to the center. Woo! And to the other side. Squeeze those heels. Turn the head left. And back to the center. Yep. Hold it. Gracefully lowering down. Now we're going to do one more. Final one. Inhale. Bend. Press those heels. Press the floor away. Spread all 10 toes. Try to be on the metatarsal of the foot as you lift. Good. Feel those heels connect. Now from here, you guys, your arms are going to float forward. You're going to lift them up to the ceiling. If you want to do this balance challenge with your heels down, that's fine. Open the arms out and around. Pull those abs in. Good. Connect your hamstrings. And again, lower down. We're going to do one more arm circle. Stay up if you can. Inhale, floating those arms up. Pull up through the center or heels are down if you need to. Exhale. Awesome. So good, so good, so good. And then lower the heels all the way down. Good. You guys are done for the day. That was so good. Thank you so much, everyone. Yay! That was awesome. 